realize that, sir. I know, sir, this is the first time our company has lost the regimental boxing matches. I know that, sir. I can promise you one thing, sir. It won't happen again. Yes, sir. Yes, Captain Wilson. Yes, sir. The captain mad. This is the first year our company lost the regimental boxing matches. What a team they give me. Nothing but a bunch of cream puffs. Look what they give me to work with. Look at you. You're my company heavyweight. <laughs> You're the only one who won. Well, it's not going to happen again this year. I fixed that. I'm having a soldier transferred into this outfit. Best fighter in the whole United States Army. He's due in today. That guy? Hey, I know him, Sarge. He's an old buddy boy of mine. Oh, but he won't box, Sarge. He absolutely refuses to get into the boxing ring. Why? Because he's a bugler. That's all he wants to do is bugle. It's his whole life. He's never without that bugle. Well, in this outfit, he's going to be a boxer, or else. Not him, Sarge. All he wants to do is play that bugle. Serial number. Name. Bob Gubbery Bugle. <laughs> Rank? Nothing. Serial number. Serial number. I knew he was going to ask that. I know my name, I know my rank, but that serial number. Boy. See, uh, I'm. I got a way of remembering. Eight four nine one six zero oh, three five one nine five four three two three five six seven two five one by one tell All right, private. Check into the supply room and get your equipment. I got all the equipment I need for you. I'll be right here, sir. I check out my bugle. <laughs> You're not gonna need that bugle in the army. You can put that away. In this outfit, you're going to be a fighter. You're going to be a boxer. Just a second, sir. I got news for you. I didn't join this here army to fight. I joined it to bugle. Well, get that through your head. Well, you're going to fight in this outfit. Or you're going to be sorry you ever saw a bugle. you're doing. Look, fella, you don't want to be stubborn about this, because if the Sarge wants you should be a boxer, you're going to have to be a boxer. You get me? Did you ever hear of a thing called the treatment? <laughs> they can make it so tough for you around here, they're going to have you begging to be a boxer. I ain't going to be no boxer. Why not? Why can't you do what they ask you? It's personal. What, what you can tell me? You promise not to tell anybody, Frankie? Right. Okay. Was a bad, it's a Pisces. And the Pisces has dignity. And the Pisces has dignity, has dignity in his heart, and dignity in his soul. And the man who has dignity in his heart, and dignity in his soul, has dignity in his bugle. Buddy boy, you don't know what you're saying. I got a box. Why not? I don't want to. But you can tell me the reason. Okay. Happened at another camp. Put me in a ring to box with <coughs> my best friend, my best buddy. The top of that, he was my brother. <laughs> Got in a ring with him, you know, and I, I just started to spar around with him. I didn't want to hit him, you know, hit him, because after all, he was my best buddy, uh, my best friend, and he was my brother on top of everything, you know? <laughs> so I was, you know, sparring around with him, and all of a sudden, you know, he didn't mean it. And he, he let one go right in my side here. <laughs> and that infuriated me, you know? <laughs> and I let a haymaker go to the head. I hit him right in the eye. 
<laughs> I broke my whole hand. <laughs> I didn't know he had hard eyeballs. I didn't know. So when I hit her, I couldn't play the bugle, you know. I don't know the bugle's good, you know. Right, Private? Right. Have you made your decision? You're going to be a boxer? Or would you rather get the treatment? I could be no boxer. Why not? Because a man is a person. A person has dignity. He has dignity. Before I'm finished with you, Bugle, you're going to be begging to be a boxer. Oh, boy, he's in for it now. He's going to get the treatment. No, I can't look. We'll have a little inspection, Private. You call yourself a soldier. Your good conduct medal is on crooked. I'll straighten it for you. <laughs> now, it's nice and straight. Didn't anyone ever teach you how to make a GI knot? It's supposed to be tight! <laughs> All right. Are you gonna be a boxer? This is only a sample of what you get if you don't fight. Think it over. <coughs> hey, buddy boy, how are you? How'd you make out? I'm okay, I just can't die. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I could take anything that guy could dish out. That's my buddy boy, huh? Listen, fella, you and me got an overnight task, huh? Yeah, what do you say? We have yeah, to fuck yeah. Up. Wait, wait a minute. I just, I just want to get this <laughs> good conduct medal out of me. But it's very... Inconvenient. <laughs> and I might get an infection of tetanus, you know. Okay now? Yeah. Okay, listen, fella, I'll meet you at the Paradise Club, yeah. huh? Fast as you can, change yeah. it to me. So long, buddy boy! So long. Yeah. Yeah, boy. I better put some mercury mercury comb on this because I get an <laughs> Boy coming in. He's changing into a civvies now. Look, I want you should introduce him to a nice girl, huh? Duchess, you're gorgeous. 
You're telling me? I love you, Duchess. Who doesn't? You're mine, all mine, Duchess. I'm yours, all yours. Is be near you. I don't want to be near you. I'm yours and you're mine and we're each other. That's dead. Sorry, no ticket, no dancing, a roll and roll. <laughs> but I love you. <laughs> Because I'm a one-man woman. <laughs> and I'm a one-woman man. Don't forget our four o'clock date tomorrow. Meet you at the usual place. Right. Now, see here, what's going on here? I thought you said you're one woman bad. I thought you said you love only me. You're a funny one. I'll prove to you that I love you. Okay, Duchess. What do you say? You and me get out of here. All right. Let's go swimming. Yeah, swimming. <laughs> sure. I always wear a bathing suit under my gown. Doesn't everybody? I like that. First time in my life I ever went to a dance without my bathing suit. I'll see you on the beach in a few minutes. Well, Sarge, it looks like my buddy boy's giving you the treatment, making time with the Duchess. Listen to me, Frankie boy. I'm biding my time. Because that's the kind of guy I'm. <laughs> in the whole world, especially tonight. It, it makes you feel sort of close to nature. Makes me feel sort of close to you. Out here on this beach tonight, I can forget the dance hall with all the smoke and the noise and the dancing. <laughs> Get the 
tough sergeant at a treatment. Marty, I love you. I have been waiting an eternity to hear those words from you, Duchess. Here amongst the ocean, I can see it a different light. See you not as a hard boil, dance a girl, but as a lost person. And I'm gonna find you, whoever you are. Monty, do you really mean that? Every word. Monty, I used to dream of a knight in shining armor who would get <laughs> I have only known you a short while, but I must ask you one question. Yes, Marty? Did you bring a towel? The Duchess is my girl, and don't you forget it. Yeah, well, my buddy boy's making time with her right now, Sarge. You're a husband. You're a liar. She's my girl, and nobody's going to say she belongs to nobody. No, well, he's down on the beach with her right now, and you ain't no place, Sarge. Says you. I'm here, and she's no with nobody but me. Hey, Sarge, you're all right. Have one on me. Why, you little weasel? You know what I'm going to do to him if I catch him with my girl? I'll ah. kill him. Kill him. Do you hear? Kill him. You hear me? You. <laughs> okay, Sarge. The way you want it. <laughs> Never mind. I don't need no bottle to rip you in half. I can do it with my bare hands. Maybe you can. Okay. All right, Bugle, it's taps for you. I always knew you'd show your true colors, Sarge. Chartreuse. I shot you like a hurt the bullet. <laughs> and a wrong. Whoa, I came out here. 